This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Let's see. Look carefully at the code below. What do you think will happen after you click run? Remember, there will only be one honeycomb or one flower behind each cloud. So three times. So I'm going to run this three times. All right, so I move forward. Cool. And now I'm asking the computer this question. If at flower, I move forward and I say, hey, computer, is, is the bee at a flower? Okay, great. Now, what am I going to do if I'm out of flower? The computer will say, will pretend true. Okay, true. Yes, you're out of flower. What happens? Zoop, do. I get nectar. So if the bee is at a flower, I get that nectar and then I'm done. Else does not happen. This make honey? Nope. I'm out of flower. I get the nectar. Zoop, hit the bottom of my loop, go back to the top and move forward again. Now, let's say I go ahead and move forward again and I say, if it flower, I'm right here and the computer says, false. You're not out of flower. Well, if I'm not out of flower, this is an if else statement. So I'm not out of flower. Okay. Well, if I'm not out of flower, I do not get nectar. This never will happen. Nope. False. You're not out of flower. But what will happen is make honey. This is the otherwise. This is else. So when you ask the computer if at flower, either I get the nectar or I make the honey. It's never both. If there's a flower, I'll be getting nectar. Otherwise, I'll always be trying to make the honey. So let's see. You're only going to do one or the other. Uh, the bee will get nectar at each flower and get honey at each honeycomb. That sounds good. Nectar from both? Nope, it won't. Honey from both? Nope. This one. The bee will try to get nectar at each flower and honeycomb honey from honeycombs. Awesome. Let's keep going.